for our worldwide canon report, let's try this again, because this platform blocked the last one, even though these are all headlines from the BBC. In our big news this week, Germany legalizes. Also news from Australia and from my favorite Dutch Canna medical company. I'm Lex Pelgra. I do can education for CV Sciences, the makers of Plus CBD, those excellent CBD and THC products for shipping to you anywhere in the U.S. After years and back and forth, a German Budenstag legalized cannabis. Adults will now be allowed to grow up to three plants in their home, and when they are away from their home, they'll be allowed to have up to 25 grams of cannabis. And within their home, they'll be allowed to have 50 grams. Also, if you're caught with slightly more than that limit, you will now receive an administrative violation that has nothing to do with criminal court proceedings. Non-commercial cannabis clubs are hoped to be rolled out by July, and there is plans for a commercial legalized cannabis market at some point in the future. Overall, hats off to our large neighbor to the east, and kudos on their very sane approach to our favorite plant. Meanwhile, in Australia, they're having their very first hearings on a legalized cannabis bill that would allow people to grow up to six plants and to share what they grow. The bill would also set up an agency to oversee licensing, sales, and the formation of consumption cafes. There is some pushback from the AMA, the Australian Medical Association, but like the AMA of the United States, they have been dinosaurs on this issue for over 100 years. Overall, 50% of Australians support homegrown cannabis. So overall, for those down under, we hope this bill leads to more access and less penalization. And finally, good news from Bedrocan, who is my absolute favorite Dutch medical cannabis company because I think they've been for many years doing the right thing and trying to get very standardized medicine for shipping to people all over the world. They just announced that they will be using some of their profits to start a clinical research unit. Their first studies will be in the safety of their own products, followed by studies on neuropathic pain. As a scientist who works in industry, I am delighted when I see a company give back and spend money trying to further information and knowledge in their field. And finally, as a resident of France, let me say, Mon bel, when will you get with the times?